Welcome to the rocket profile of the Juno-1, the rocket that launched America's first satellite, Explorer-1. The main engine for the Juno-1 was a Rocketdyne A7 in a stretched redstone stage similar to the one that would eventually launch Alan Shepard, America's first astronaut, on his suborbital flight. The A7 produced 416 kilonewtons of thrust for 2 minutes and 35 seconds with a sea level specific impulse of 235 seconds. Unlike Alan Shepard's rocket, it used Hydine, which is a mix of UDMH, unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine, and DETA, diethyl and a triamine, and liquid oxygen for oxidizer. The original Redstone engine used 75% ethyl alcohol, and Hydine was invented by Mary Sherman Morgan to give better performance, however she wanted to name the new fuel Bagel, so that the propellant combination would be Bagel and LOX. The A7 in Alan Shepard's rocket went back to ethyl alcohol to avoid the toxicity of Hydine. The Redstone and A7 were designed by Werner von Braun and were direct descendants from his V2 rockets which used the A4 engine, which had the 75% ethyl alcohol fuel. Redstone rockets using Hydine are considered part of the Jupiter C family. After the Redstone stage completes its burn, the instrument unit with RCS units in the cone on top of the stage aims the three remaining stages, a cluster of 11 Sargent solid rocket motors, and a cluster of three of them, and then a final single Sargent rocket motor, and spin stabilizes them ahead of arrival at apoapsis. The three stages of SRBs each last for six seconds, so they help the tiny Explorer 1 payload make orbit right at apoapsis. Each sergeant has a specific impulse of 235 seconds in vacuum and produces 6.7 kilonewtons. So the 11 sergeant stage will provide 73.7 kilonewtons, the 3 sergeant stage gives 20.1 kilonewtons, and the final stage just provides the 6.7 kilonewtons. Each sergeant has a mass of about 27 kilograms. The payload to orbit of the Juno 1 is 11 kilograms. It had three successes and three failures. The first launch, Explorer 1, was successful. On Explorer 2, the final stage didn't ignite. Explorer 3 made orbit, Explorer 4 made orbit, Explorer 5 failed because the first stage collided with the upper stages. On the final launch with a Project Echo inflatable satellite, the second stage separated early, leading to a failed launch there. Explorer 1, of course, was the first spacecraft to detect the Van Allen radiation belt. And on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of Juno 1.